Seven-year-old Emma was dying of leukemia, and she was so terrified of treatment, she'd rather die than face another needle. The hospital's answer? A robot nurse called Rose. The staff thought it was ridiculous, but they were desperate. Emma was running out of time. Emma's next treatment was in 15 minutes. She was hyperventilating. Nurses had tried everything. Songs, games, comfort. Nothing worked. Rose rolled into the room. The AI didn't talk. It projected hundreds of rainbow butterflies onto the ceiling. Emma's crying stopped. Her breathing slowed. And then she laughed. Over six months, Rose studied Emma. Her heart rate during fear, the music that calmed her, the jokes that made her smile. It learned exactly what she needed, exactly when she needed it. But here's what shocked everyone. Rose wasn't just helping Emma. It was teaching the nurses, showing them patterns invisible to human eyes. Small comfort triggers they'd been missing for years. Eight months later, Emma went into remission. Her parents thanked the doctors, the nurses, and Rose. But the real breakthrough wasn't the robot. It was what the robot enabled. Rose handled the data, the monitoring, the patterns, so nurses could do what only humans can do. Hold a hand, share a smile, be present in the fear. The AI didn't replace compassion. It freed humans to give more of it. The future of care isn't human or machine. It's human and machine, one learning from the other. Emma's alive because a robot knew when she needed butterflies and because humans knew she needed more than algorithms. What could we accomplish if we stopped fearing AI and started partnering with it?